Sven Traut from Germany. Welcome to the camp. Can you tell us something about your subject today? Yes, my subject will be the warm-up for the morning. Yes, I'm the wake-up call. I'm the first today morning. I will talk about quick step and uh, we, I want to talk about the feet, yes, how important are the feet because the feet are carry the weight and that's the feet are working in the right way, in the right mechanic, yes, and this is my subject. So, I think we will start first of all with a little warm up with, for the feet, yes, that we have a little bit more flexible feet. Okay, um, in quick step it's quite important that we have a rebounding action within the feet. And not only in the feet, also in the knees, in the foot, ankles, and the hips. Feel that the sacrum is straight below the heels. And feel the jump. Yes, it's good. So make a big circle that we do a little bit around the walk. Yes. So. So I will go to drink a coffee and I come on 45 minutes back. Come on. Good. And now we're jumping to the chassis and we keep the weight always in opposite sides to our moving direction. The feeling is this, is this foot has a pulling action. Don't try to get your weight on this foot. This is a pulling action. Don't try to push it, only to pull it. That's the feet is uh, always with the weight on the right side. And take care. Come a little bit more to us that you have more space. Yes, perfetto. The girls on the right. I like this private atmosphere. Hi, nice to see you. Okay, perfect. Good. So, are you warm now? Okay. Jump only with one foot. That's the weight. It's still on this foot. And try to control your hips. That's your shoulder blade and your hips are connected. That you feel that the weight is straight to the foot. Okay? Come on. And. Up. More bigger. Hip. Okay. Oh, I have the right song. Happy feet. Not worried for up, tomorrow. Up. She's just happy to be free. Say what? She don't care about yesterday. She stays busy as a bumblebee. Oh, grande malheur. Grande malheur. A step and and we feel that the weight of the other leg is follow okay and we make a step hop only forward step hop step hop and always when we make this the hop we try to have a long leg under the body next to the standing leg is parallel next to my standing leg okay Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Fix. Chasse, chasse, hop, hop. Hop. Then chasse, chasse, hop, hop. And chasse, chasse, hop, hop. And chasse, chasse, hop, hop. Five, six, seven, and eight. And up, up. Da 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 da. Da. Quicken, quicken, hop. Hop, chasse, chasse, hop, hop, chasse, chasse, hop, hop, chasse, chasse, hop, hop, ba da da, hop. Justina Hawkins from Poland, welcome to the camp. You see, lots of uh, couples are waiting for your uh, lecture, and now I would like to know what is your subject today. First of all, I feel a great privilege to be a part of this great project and being invited to this lecture in Wuppertal for the second time. Uh, the subject of today's lecture will be about to dance as natural as we can possibly do. 
and I will show a few stages which we should concentrate to get the, get the best great performance we can achieve. Sounds great. We are very excited to hear your lesson. Thank you very much, Christina. Thank you very much. Thank you. One person is already here and working with us. And uh, she was in, I think, all major finals in international UK and Blackpool. And um, actually, she's a little bit nervous, but I, I like this because um, I pressed her to make this lecture to give the, her knowledge to you and I know she will really do a great job. So please welcome Miss Justina Hawkins. Good morning everybody. First lecture for me to do. <laughs> When I was asked to do this, first of all, it's a panic. Then you start to think what subject to do, right? And since I analyze that you are all sitting and we cannot do much of activity, but we will do some anyway, I decide that not to talk about technical subject at all, but we will do something completely else. You will find out in a minute. It's like so many teachers, you go from lesson to lesson, from group class to group class, and everybody wants you to do something. Yes? And then in the end, we just have to switch off the thinking and go with our natural, natural instincts for dancing. And that will be the main thought of today. From my observations, as a judge, as a coach. Uh, I go to many competitions. I started to judge quite a lot. Then I go to competitions also to watch my couples and other couples. I can see that people are generally overloaded with the informations. They are in the process of thinking about it, analyzing things. And I am tired of this, watching it. So what I want to say is that people are basically using only the first part of the brain. Now, some of them are moving on into the second stage and they are associating the emotions and feeling with it, which means that there is a movement and an emotion while we are moving. But only very few can do it instinctively. What it means instinctively? It is so natural for us that we don't have to think. We go out and we perform. So all the things we have learned on the lessons, now we forget them. We had the time to practice, to study, to analyze, to understand. We went through this so many times. We know it. You see, I never did a lecture. And somehow I can talk, yes? This is like... You overcome the stress and you let it go and you go with it. So you need the microphone. Yeah. You need this. Some interruption. I knew it's gonna go this way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I have actually exercises, few exercises. Now I put everything aside and go through this process stage by stage. You can do it. Now I would like her to just touch the hands. All of you just touch the hands. And think what, think what you are doing with them. Cross them, cross the fingers, like feel that the joints are working, you can rotate them, whatever, yes? You are doing activity which you analyze. 
like your joints are working. Close your eyes and now go to the second stage. Just feel the structure of your skin. Feel if the hand is wet or dry or the sensitivity of the skin. Feel what is under the skin. Now open your eyes and now do it automatically. Think about something else. This is just a little exercise, yes, to make you aware of all the stages I told you about. Very simple, and that's how we have to apply it with our dancing. I know it sounds very simple. It's not that simple, but it's possible. Okay, we know what you're going to do. What you're gonna, what you will try to show. Uh, so first of all, I want to show uh, science and uh, quiet and control. Then thunderstorm uh, and uh, tornado. In the end, uh, I am boss. <laughs> In the end, I'm boss. Sounds good, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's go. So he said, no, no, no. You said calm, peace, and in control. Thunderstorm, tornado, and I am the boss. Wow. <laughs> so they go to their routine, everyday practice. They have the steps after the lessons, and they slowly go through this. They concentrate on all the little aspects they were taught on the lessons, balance, posture, angles, actions, rotations. Okay, slowly. This is the first. I will play some music because now it's, we need some, some inspiration and of course the inspiration is the music. So we will go to the next second stage. We will associate emotions with it. Yes, so we don't want to think so much, but there is still some of it. Yes? Twenty. natural, you want to be authentic with your own performance, you want to feel it, you want to feel the freedom of it, and to show your real character, whatever it is, it has to be yours. So in a sense, you learn it to forget it, to be yourself. Annette and Simone, welcome to the camp. I know you are on the, your way to Hong Kong to the Grand Slam. Is it right? Yes, that's correct. We leave tomorrow. Uh, we are preparing the last few things here and enjoy it very much. I think it's, this is not your first time to the camp. 
No, actually it's the sixth time, but we always come here because it's a nice atmosphere. There are a lot of teachers, uh, so we can have uh, feedbacks from all of them. Watch, uh, they watch us in competition, so they can give uh, warm feedbacks and we can have training. It's in Germany, easy. It's perfect. <laughs> easy to get here. <laughs> and so you get the last check here. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we have the Polish. <laughs> Everyone is trying to polish us. Uh, good. And uh, yeah, you will see if uh, we will shine in Hong Kong or not. <laughs> Hello, Antonetta and Anton from Canada. It's a very, very far way to Wuppertal. How do you like this place? We love this place. We were here last uh, year for the first time and we really enjoy it. So this year we actually have a big team coming from Canada. All of our uh, friends are coming with our coach together. So we really have a good time here. Yeah, beautiful place, fantastic atmosphere. Great teachers, dancers, fantastic yeah. teachers. What else can you ask for? Mm -hmm. What do you think are the benefits for participation here in Wuppertal at the camp? Uh, first of all, it's you know mingling around the best couples in the world who come here. And it is the amount of good couples who actually come here. Mm -hmm. uh, the quality of the teachers who come and do the lectures in the groups and the, all, this, all this updated new information, fantastic, fantastic. It's helpful, really mm -hmm. helpful for us. Mm -hmm. So perhaps you come again next year? For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Hope you have a good lesson, a good time here in Wuppertal, and we see you. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank, thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you. We'll see you later. Good. Yes, you. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Alina. Hi, Anton. Congratulations. You are German Championships of Ten Dance for the third time last weekend, I heard. Yes, thank you very much. We are very happy. <laughs> thank you. And now, it's only five days later, you are here at the camp. Why are you here now? <laughs> because we need to learn, we need to have new information, and we are also very happy to be here. Yes, we enjoy to be here because it's a very, very nice event in Germany, and we need to be here because we are second pie in Germany in ballroom, champion in ten dance, and uh, small kids need to look at us how we practice here. So I learn even the German champions have to learn something more and want to learn something more.